So how do you look at this this amazing success of this film? What Sandeep has done, I think he's just broken the template. I think it is uh, all these traditional beliefs which you held dear for more than a hundred years. I think he just destroyed them. You've said that Animal is not merely a film, it is a social statement. Why do you say that? If you take, for example, a, a Bobby the old character when he's introduced in the wedding and what he does or how he talks, most of them, they're not even grey, they're dark uh, in a sense of the word. One of my favourite moments is, is uh, when against everyone's expectations, including me in the audience, was that he will come back with a baseball bat or something. But when he comes back with a machine gun that almost made us all fall off our chairs and that moment is a pure cinematic gem. The way he looks as a student and when he goes out, the last thing you would expect is a machine gun. In fact, in the theatre, there was an audible gasp in the entire theatre when they saw the gun uh, in his uh, hand. So you also said that for me, the character of Ranbir hit me like a thunderbolt when he says a simple line. Happiness is a decision. What was incredibly consistent in Ranbir's performance is, I, when I said he's genuinely surprised, when it could be his father, it could be other people, it could be his wife. I'm sure that I think it's, it's one of the finest performances ever, but maybe some people may say that it's a bit of an exaggeration. In first of all, Indian films don't have this kind of a content to start with. So I can't think of a single performance at least there. Pre-interval fight sequence mixed with Arjun, Arjun Valley song reminded me of the music video of Michael Jackson's Beat It. You would have never have thought they will include fight sequence in a song when Michael Jackson came up with the Beat It idea, which never happened before. Uh, a lot of people believe uh, are of the opinion that uh, Bobby's uh, role is uh, way too short. Now, on one way, if you look at it, if you introduced Bobby in the interval point or somewhere in the first half, then we know as an audience that we have to wait for that guy also to be sorted. Sandeep gave an electric shock to all those filmmakers who got stuck in a template system by ripping off their clothes and making them even more naked than he did with Ranbir in the film. And he just, with a broomstick, scooped up all their mediocrity and threw it in a garbage can. So that's Ram Gopal Verma's review about uh, Sandeep Engareddy's Animal. The film is a blockbuster and is being talked about in a huge way. Uh, Ramu, sir, pleasure having you with me on yeah. Connect FM Canada. Yeah. How are you? Hi, Father Nia. Fine. Thanks. All right, sir. Um, amazing review. First of all, I must tell you that you write beautifully. Um, I think, when are we going to read your book? I guess writing eventually will come from the kind of a content what you're trying to uh, talk about. And I think uh, Animal has that. So I would give credit to Animal even for whatever you're complimenting me about my writing. Yeah. <laughs> Right. All right. Uh, so there's so many things that um, that are there in this in this review that you have written of, of Animal, and it is beautifully written. Uh, so Sandeep has responded to this this, and uh, Sandeep has said that um, I believe no other director had contributed to Indian cinema more than Mr. Ram Gopal Verma did. Film Animal review from my all-time favorite director, excluding couple of things written in his own style. Really grateful for everything. Um, and you've, you've, I think, responded to him in a beautiful manner as well. Um, so how do you look at this, this amazing success of this film? Um, you've just tweeted that there are 1am 1, 1 PM, 1, 1 AM show, 2am show now. To start with, uh, to respond to what Sandeep had said about me, I do not believe uh, that's true because see, eventually whether it's with uh, any of the films of the beginning of my career, I, I have still stuck to a fairly traditional template. Maybe I would have made it more realistic and more probably very innovative kind of a taking and the characterizations being very clear, I would like to think. But what Sandeep has done, I think he's just broken the template. I think it is uh, uh, like what we always wanted to believe, what cinema should be in terms of the empathy towards the protagonist or the so-called uh, three-act structure of uh, where you should not, you're not supposed to have scenes which don't help the story. All these traditional beliefs which you held dear for more than a hundred years, I think he just destroyed them, which is what I think for me Animal was really about. So whether that's a good or a bad thing, that is very subjective. That will be depending on like a you know, lot of negative uh, reviews and people talking very in a shocked way, I think it's because they've been uh, jerked away from their comfortable their comfort positions in terms, you know, like no one likes to be just moved rudely and it is rude 
Why it is rude? Because the film is so strong in its expression, which is what I think. And I think that to my knowledge, that is the first of its kind. I mean, I can still understand an indie film doing it, a kind of a low budget and uh, probably with unknown actors aiming for a very niche audience. But to have a superstar like Ranbir Kapoor and uh, aiming for the mainstream release on such a wide scale, I would like to think probably this is the first of its kind in Indian cinema. Yeah. All right. So, Ramu sir, how do you, how do you, how do you, uh, I think in a way respond to the, the criticism from certain quarters about uh, glorifying violence and uh, misogyny? See, I mean, that, that's the whole point. See, when, when you're making a film, a violent film, I mean, which is what the nature of the film is, and the director has been telling right from the beginning that uh, this is about, you will see what violence is. So, you are like pre-warned in the context. It's not like you've been pounced upon right from the certification to the interviews and the build-up and of course the so-called trailers, you know. And then to call it violent, I find it uh, very funny, is one point. And criticizing for its form or whatever they talk about uh, the unnecessary length of the film or pointless scenes or uh, to shock for the sake of shocking, I disagree with that. Because, see, the whole point of a film is to startle you. It has to make you provoke an emotion of which shock is one. I mean, that is a part of an emotion uh, you know, aspect of it. And quite a lot of that happens because you, you one has not seen scenes like that or treating a scene like that. What you, for the hundreds of years or whatever, tens of years, you thought what will happen in a scene and if it suddenly surprises you with a twist in it or with a dialogue or with an expression or with the way it starts or ends, I mean, many, many times I was surprised in the, in, the, in the film. And a surprise can be unpleasant to some people because they're so used to being a certain template-driven kind of a thing, they're comfortable with that. And when a, a sudden shock comes, it disorients them and it comes across as a negative reaction. That's what I think happened to most people. All right. Um, so you have, um, you've said that Animal is not merely a film, it is a social statement. Why do you say that? I said that because see, he is dealing with characters. See, the, the, the point is the kind of characters, including the so-called protagonists or the antagonists, if you can call them that, uh, we are not used to seeing those people. I mean, if you take, for example, a, a Bobby the old character when he's introduced in the wedding and what he does or how he talks, most of them, they are not even grey, they are dark uh, in a sense of the word, you know. And also some, the, the likes of which we've not seen in a, in a mainstream film especially. So I think uh, it is his way of saying the whole audience are full of such people. It's not like, you know, we are trying to live in a law law land and society is this, society expects this and society accepts this. All this kind of, a, uh, I mean, uh, certain things which you, or which you believe in. I think when it is shown otherwise, it's also a different kind of society agrees, uh, exists, which is what he's saying, which is the reason I said it's a social statement. All right. Um, so you've said that um, one of my favorite moments is, is uh, when against everyone's expectations, including me in the audience, was that he will come back with a baseball bat or something. But when he comes back with a machine gun that almost made us all fall off our chairs and that moment is a pure cinematic gem. Yeah, as I told you on the phone, what I felt was when the when the when the camera was focusing on the machine gun while he was walking, um, my perception was, as I told you earlier, that that it was something that you would have shot the machine gun like that. You would have shot that scene particularly. I disagree, like I disagree with that because see, the point is that the presence of a machine gun is a very very unusual thing uh, in the context. You can understand it being uh, with organized uh, criminals like uh, the underworld or maybe terrorist organizations. Now, just because someone is rich on even uh, assuming that he can have a machine gun in certain areas in the country. But I think because we've seen so many films, you always expect a, a, a rod or a, or a hockey stick or a baseball bat is what we've seen all, this, all these years in so many films, including my own film, Shiva. So I think uh, the way he looks as a student and when he goes out, the last thing you would expect is a machine gun. In fact, in the theatre, there was an audible gasp in the entire theatre when they saw the gun uh, in his uh, hand, you know. 
and then when he shoots in the classroom, you know. So, the, but what I find very funny is um, some of the critics mention how come there is no police when a gun is fired. And that is not the point. What happens later and didn't happen is not what the film cinema is never about that. It's about that particular moment, how it engaged you and how it kind of uh, provoked you, your emotions in a certain way. Yeah. Okay, so there's also this, this perception that in a way it's promoting like say gun culture in, in say education institutions. Yeah. Um, especially when, it, when it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of an issue like say here in North America, especially in US, it's, it's a bit of a concern for people. See, I think this, this argument I find very stupid and it's a very old argument. For example, let us say, uh, when Satya came out, they said you're glorifying violence and trying to romanticize the so-called gangsters, you know. But the, the, the point is, when you're reflecting a reality and all of them die, whoever takes the gun, you know. But uh, there was an argument. I, I said if films can influence uh, the audience like that, then two examples. Now, the greatest, biggest hit of all time, uh, probably in the earlier years, is Shole. And I don't know if a single guy went and joined Dacoits after seeing Shole, you know. Or likewise, um, if Hamap, Hamap Ke Khan is a great uh, success and no one became joint families after that, you know. I think a film is a film for the three hours you are getting into a world of escapism. And whatever the director wants to show, you just see it and you leave the film once you come out of the theatre. And no film ever can influence a person's uh, decisions towards his life changing, which will be life changing. I find it ridiculous, that suggestion of that. No. So you also said that for me, the character of Ranbir hit me like a thunderbolt when he says a simple line. Happiness is a decision. With a strange mix of both innocence and conviction, you've also said that Ranbir most of the times looks genuinely surprised when the other characters don't understand him and that's what innocence is truly about. Yeah, see, see, the, the whole point is you can, I mean, uh, forgetting the script and the lines, I think you can, uh, you can probably project it with a sense of cockiness or overconfidence or, uh, or some kind of a, what the actor or the character is not really believing, it is mouthing the line to see the effect on the other character's face. But uh, what was incredibly consistent in Ranbir's performance is, I, when I said he's genuinely surprised, when it could be his father, it could be other people, it could be his wife. And when I, what, what innocence is basically about, you don't know if you are, what you are doing is wrong, which is the reason why you are saying a child is innocent. Because a child doesn't really realize or knows exactly what he is doing is wrong, which is the reason we say that word. Now, there is a difference between ignorance and innocence. Ignorance is not knowing the fact. Innocence is about not knowing the consequence of it, you know. So I think uh, that incredible balance is what uh, 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 Sandeep had managed to make uh, uh, Ranbir evoke in his uh, performance, you know, which is what, which prompted me to say that, yeah. Right, so sir, you told me on the phone that um, even if uh, your film like Satya, for example, there is a certain empathy for the characters. Hmm. But um, what you really liked and what, what you found unique in Animal is that um, yeah. the, um, the characters, they are, they are negative and uh, there is, there is, you don't have to feel empath empathetic towards them. Maybe negative is not the right word I would like to use. But the point is, now what is empathy is like kind of use somewhere kind of warm up to the person. I mean, sometimes if a director so chooses to uh, tell the other side of it, like if you mention Satya, you understand where Bhikkhu Matri could have come from, his childhood, his poverty and X and Y and Z, the same thing with the protagonist Satya, you know. Here there was no attempt made to actually uh, kind of uh, to give, gain an empathy for him except for just showing him the way it is, which is where I think the director is not judging the characters by himself, he's neither is asking you to judge him in a certain way, so the whole thing goes only in the context of showing what is happening and is, is leaving it to the each individual member of the audience to take a call on that. So you also mentioned that not from the first film of India, Raja, Hind Raja Harish Chandra, in 1913 till now in 2023, in the last 110 years, was there more consistency and intensity in an actor's portrayal of a character than what Ranbir did in Animal. Yeah. So um, 
uh, do you do you do you, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that I think it's, it's one of the finest performances ever but maybe some people may say that it's a bit of an exaggeration see um, why I said that I'll tell you see, we always uh, I mean there is two kinds of acting one is the so-called mainstream dialogue was kind of a thing you say there's a screen presence of an actor the way he would deliver a line and that also can come under the definition of a performance and another where is what is called a so called method acting where the actor must becomes a character you know like he imagines if this person was real and he was existing i would probably give an example of manoj vajpayee's style in biku matre in satya whereas uh, the character in animal i don't think it falls either under both those categories it is actually a very surreal something which no one has seen you know you will rarely encounter a man like ranbir's character in your real life which probably you would do with a biku matre or a satya or somebody like that so to create a character which probably the none of the audience member have seen and then to make it look believable that he already actually exist that takes an extraordinary level of uh, i mean conviction in the actor's mind to be able to deliver no matter how much uh, sandeep has designed it i think uh, eventually an actor is about feeling it i mean it a uh, feeling is something which the director no director can really put he can only give a theory of uh, what the character is about so that kind of an intensity and consistency consistency is very important for me because even if it's a scene there is no violence if just a simple scene or a, or anything you see the same character which is very difficult to maintain and a very very rarely in fact uh, in first of all indian films don't have this kind of a content to start with so i can't think of a single performance at least there i would probably the nearest i can think of is leonardo caprio in wolf of wall street who, who, who kind of reach this you kind of that. a level yeah Yeah and you've also spoken about uh, the naked sequence hmm. and you also said that it's the emotional nakedness that makes it yeah um so respectful and uh, something that something that that really startles you. You know what I meant there was see one see when uh, an actor's biggest worry would be when he is asked to do something by the director because uh, he won't be able to see himself uh, really technically speaking but if we fear would be how it will come across when he is performing and uh, he will have that fear of uh, what if the audience don't like it what if they laugh at it what if they think i'm doing i'm going overboard these fears will be very very strongly in any actor you know you now the kind of challenges sandeep had thrown at uh, ranbir in various sequences including the physically naked scene i mean now nowhere in the world something like that people will do like uh, walking naked in front of their own family and uh, and in front of the staff uh, house staff and all that uh, probably this is the first time in international cinema also uh, any any time it's not about being naked it's about being in situation you know so i think to do that kind of a thing with conviction absolutely believing in it and it is uh, not a not a single time in the film i felt that ranbir just came out of the makeup man of course he would have come i am not saying no to that but when he is in the frame it looks like he's just been living the character but that is some that is a very rare achievement which i can't think of a parallel of that uh, uh, at all yeah all right and sir what i found interesting that you you found one of the scenes where um, ranbir asks tripti dimri to lick his um, yeah. his shoe that is something that you find found uh, not uh, you did not like it and the critics of the film um they they have found this particular scene offensive as well so somewhere you are agreeing see i am not sure i will use the word i got offended I, i thought it was inconsistent because see only in that scene i felt ranbir was little out of character and uh, as a as experienced director i would like to think what could have happened I and mean, i'm just speculating not that i spoke uh, to anyone about this see one is the casting of trupti the kind of face and the characterization it's so empathy at the moment i saw close up i felt sorry for her i kind of uh, empathized with her i kind of was with her and then when she confesses that she fell in love and uh, the fact that she gave him the details of what he was looking for it was very convincing to me that she was being genuine for whatever reason she might have come to trap you know and there's no personal enmity between the two characters before she was just a tool being used by the antagonist 
So to be so rude and crude to her, I felt suddenly his character fell down below her, which never happened in the rest of the film. He was always above every other character, uh, which is the reason it didn't work for me. It's not so much about just the line. The line is definitely there. But even when he is hearing her, the way he says the line, you know, and uh, that that I felt was the only time I got out of the film. Yeah. Yeah. So so what I what I said was the critics of the film they have been offended by that uh, scene, and you did not like it. So I did not say that you were offended. Yeah. No. No. That's what I'm saying. I I didn't like it for these reasons. Also, cinematic reasons in that's terms okay. of the performance. There are many things which went wrong. Maybe on paper, I don't. I doubt it would have been so bad as far as I am concerned. You know, I think if uh, she came like a traditional vamp, you know, which uh, in old films we used to have these vamps, she came in with that kind of a look or a demeanor, I might not have been so offended. But just the fact that you liked her so much, you know, the the very character and the person, the way she performed. I found Ranbir dropping below her, which did not happen anywhere else in the film. Like I said, yeah. You made a very important statement where you say that Anne Rand's words, "Art is not what it is. Art is also what it could be." Yeah. And that's what makes Sandeep truly a true artist in the purest sense of the word. Yeah. You also mentioned that uh, he's an expressionist, and you've con- you just equated him with as being an artist. Yeah, see the the difference. Expression is about you are expressing what you want to say, and communicating is about you are concerned of the person who is listening to you. And art, in its truest form, will always be an expression because if you care about the communicator, then it becomes a business in a, in a certain sense of the word. Maybe the business is not exactly the right uh, word. So the point is when when why so many people are shocked with animal is because. they feel the people won't connect to something like that that is not what a film is supposed to do that is not a, a hero's character should be about that is not how women or anybody else should be treated if this is something you fix and suddenly someone kind of breaks that which means he is saying something else which i which i never heard or i probably don't want to hear and that is being i'm being subjected to that is what the reaction is no the point is this is this how people react is this do people take guns uh, machine guns to college or do they talk to women like this do they say lick my shoe and all that is what you're saying but what if it happens is the point so that is where i got the ayn rand thing it also what it could be what if a society like this what if characters like this exist and he's telling the story of those people who he created you know there so characters might not or need not be exactly the way you thought characters should be or who you think they are all kinds of people exist in the whole world which we see every day so he took a set of characters who are not usually seen or usually experienced or met or you probably were not even aware that they are existing or you don't want to see them or, or whatever the reasons are so i think it is his take on the story of such people which is why i think it's art All right. You also said that the pre-interval fight sequence mixed with Arjun Arjun Valley song reminded me of the music video of Michael Jackson's "Beat It." Um, did you like the the usage of uh, the song in this particular sequence and and music in general? I mean, it surprised me. I would say. See, to start with, I was not uh, too happy with any of the action scenes. In fact, that makes me doubt whether Sandeep himself ever took the story seriously. You know, which, which is also I want to make a point between. what is stories and what scenes are you know so the 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 point is uh, when there's a fight happening and which is again coming back to the art thing now if you take a michael jackson's beat it you know like where the two street gangs are out to beat up each other yes i know that's a music video i know that's a song michael jackson is a pop singer i know all that but you would never you would have never have thought they will include fight sequence in a song when michael jackson came up with the beat it idea which never happened before you know so i think he did a reverse of that to make a very violent fight in the context of a story of taking revenge on the people who are responsible for killing his father and to throw in a song it it is something which you not seen and and uh, cinema is about eventually provoking like a certain emotion are you what ye kya hua but ye kya ho gaya also is an emotion 
you know. And I suspect strongly Sandeep never took the story seriously. If you look at it, any of the context with the fight on the eighth strip with Bobby or this, uh, this music video thing or, or the song coming on the eighth strip fight, so every time something is happening, he was more interested in the scenes between him and the wife, between his individual scenes or this sequence, that sequence. So like a very great uh, writer, I, I'm not sure I'm getting the name right, I think it's William Wyler. He basically said, no matter how good a scene uh, there is, if it doesn't help the story progression, you shouldn't have it. Which is something most people follow till today. But Sandeep just threw it out, you know, because I would think more than 30% of the film, the scenes have no meaning at all into the context of the story. Yes, they have a context of the character. So, he's more interested in putting as many scenes as possible to make a point of the character rather than him aiding the progression of the story, which is what is consistently done in the whole film. So, that's a new way of looking at cinema. It's, it's like you're taking moments from that person's life out of which some happen to have a story and a connection and some just happen to be random, which, which why should we complain about that as long as the scene by itself is engaging. But for the critics, because they're so used to see it in a progression of what they think a story structure should be about, like I told you in the beginning of the interview, it disoriented them and it just kind of uh, took them away. Uh, for, for example, I, a, a girl I know, I sent a message to her, did you see animal? And the reply was, I loved the underwear sequence. Now, when I saw the film, I thought there was an extremely pointless uh, sequence, but she didn't feel that. So, neither am I the audience for Sandeep, nor, nor is she, nor anyone. So, he just puts in a bunch of things and uh, some things are sticking to some, some others are maybe not. Like I didn't like the uh, lick my shoe part and maybe someone else liked it. I don't, I'm not aware of that. But the point is overall, if it is making such a big noise and how many times did you discuss a film? I don't remember. At the most, a big commercial hit, you'll think the action is very good, VFX is very good, someone is looking very good, song is very good. But uh, getting into the details of characterizations and the dialogue and movements, I don't remember the last time uh, any anyone had a discussion about a film like what we are having now, you know. And that reminds me, yeah, I, 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 I want to quote uh, like uh, Adrian Lane, uh, the director of Fatal Attraction, uh, nine and a half weeks. He said, "A film being liked or disliked, I think, is too simplistic. If if people fight about it, if they argue about it, they disagree mm. uh, with each other yeah. on each other's perceptions, that is what which makes an impact, and that is what I think Sandeep has achieved." Yeah. Right. You also said that villain Bobby's intro has to be the most original villain yeah. introduction ever in film history because he's literally unveiled like a bride yeah. in a split screen effect. That's just genius. Uh, a lot of people believe, uh, are of the opinion that uh, Bobby's uh, role is uh, way too short. He's terrific. See, now that is an interesting thing. I'll, I'll tell you this. If, for example, let us say traditionally, if you look at it, um, the, the second half of a film, normally filmmakers tend to design it as a counter-attack to the villain and whatever is done till the so-called interval point, you know. But uniquely here, the story gets over in the interval as far as Sandeep's film is concerned because we were never told about a guy called Bobby existing anywhere in the film. So whoever has caused it, they have been killed by the interval point. So technically the story is over. Now, the whole second half, if you see, then there will be a one hour story of whatever, there is no connection to the, what's happening in the first half and suddenly out of the blue, uh, this Bobby, Bobby's character comes in, you know. Now, on one way, if you look at it, if you introduced Bobby in the interval point or somewhere in the first half, then we know as an audience that we have to wait for that guy also to be sorted, you know. But if he did that, probably I would have lost interest in this one hour story uh, of all these family scenes or this scene, that scene happening, you know, in case it happens. But again, I go back to same thing what I said, if it is a string of scenes in a man's life, for example, let us one, for one second think, this is not a fictional story. If it is a fictional biopic of a character called, like, uh, I mean, Vijay, Ran Vijay, then you are seeing scenes from his life happening at various times. It is like a string of scenes put together, out of which some have some kind of a semblance to a story. Like, you know, 
something which happened 10 years back or 2 years back or whatever i might be doing other things in meantime and suddenly that comes back in some other context i think the whole screenplay is designed like that you know which is why um, uh, i think that like what you're talking right and sir you you replied to sandeep by saying that in contradiction to my so called contribution to the system i think you destroyed the existing system hmm. i say this because i still followed a traditional and con conventional template so you already spoken about that uh, you've said that unlike how most filmmakers now became communicators because they are scared of being judged by the audience yeah. on the other hand you are neither judgmental towards the characters in your film nor hmm. towards the audience who are watching them in your film that's the reason i genuinely feel that you are the first expressionist artist that the indian film industry ever produced yeah. a million salutes to you and you also want to touch his feet and all that stuff on whatsapp yeah, yeah. um so um so basically uh, you're making a very interesting thing that a lot of filmmakers they tend to be um way too cautious and they are uh, they don't want See, to be judged all filmmakers and, uh, in know, like you know i i i don't know if i mentioned that in the review like I, I first time i ever heard alfred hitchcock said i'm very scared of boring the audience i want the film to keep moving and that's what even steven spielberg said and i'm talking at from that time till now most of the filmmakers are scared of a scene not holding a shot not holding they're all the time afraid and now here comes a film called animal where the director done seem to care about how long it takes to tell the story how long the scene goes Uh, for example that scene when he confesses that he slept with uh, uh, tripti's character between him and rashmika i think that goes for a good 15 minutes it seems you know no one does things like that so but his confidence that it will hold the audience you know like to release a three and almost three and a half our our film so the, the, the that is my whole point so if he thinks for one second that what if the audience find it boring what if the audience find it too long i don't think he'll be able to be able to do it which is means is expressing whatever he likes is taking it for granted people will like it you know but if i am designing right. my conversation whether i can hold you your interest as faridun was talking to me then i'll be very cautious in how fast i'll say and how this i will say that is the difference between expressionist and a communicator you know so the fact that he didn't right. care to follow a single rule of screenplays or characters and x and y whatever the gold standards what the uh, bollywood or any wood for that matter uh, practiced and if he just kind of put them under the bus which is the reason i said he is the first true expressionist artist so like you know i remember leonardo caprio cerebor scorsese in the promotion of uh, Wolf of Wall Street. He said, "What I like about Scorsese is that he is not judgmental about his characters. You know, he just shows them for what they are, which is exactly what I think uh, Sandeep showed." Absolutely, sir. So, so one last question um, at the at the event uh, at the animal event, uh, Mr. Mr. Rajamouli uh, mentioned that uh, Ramupal Verma and uh, Sandeep um, they are not afraid and they 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 have this ability to uh, to just 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 follow their own heart. uh um, so many people uh, n- like anyone who knows you knows knows the fact that uh rambopal verma can can uh, spring a surprise any time you can never write him off uh, at at uh, at at any point of time whatsoever um uh, you're making so much of sense uh, you you your brain is sticking uh, so beautifully uh, when do we see that uh, that next gem from from rambopal verma coming coming at a theater near near us see i think i always maintain this i mean i uh, like i think i told this in the 25th year of satya or some review i wrote of uh, some uh, article i wrote about it the point is see you are a reflection of the time and a reflection of your state of mind yes like you rightly said it can happen uh, maybe in my next film or it might happen 5 years later or it might never happen i think all three are <laughs> on the cards so which basically proves your point i might spring a surprise and i might not also but having said all this nothing had shaken me up and like from my slumber more than animal that is what i would like to say it is something probably uh, i felt like i was going back to school after 35 years of my career yeah that's interesting so that means to say that that in a way it has provoked you and maybe yes yes it did you'd it like did, to did. you'd like to come up with something and that's that's interesting it did yeah that's interesting um ramu sir thank you very much for your time as always uh, a huge uh, learning experience um, talking to you 
um, always a fresh perspective and a unique perspective. Thank you very much, and uh, please keep on rocking. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for that.